Explore the inspiring rise to fame of Oprah Winfrey, one of the most influential figures in media and entertainment. From her challenging beginnings to becoming a global icon, we delve into the key moments and decisions that propelled her to stardom. Learn about her groundbreaking career, impactful philanthropy, and the powerful legacy she continues to build. Join us for an exclusive look at the incredible journey of Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey is an American talk show host, television producer, actress, author, and media proprietor. She is best known for her talk show, The Oprah Winfrey Show, broadcast from Chicago, which ran in national syndication for 25 years, from 1986 to 2011. Born January 29, 1954, age 70 years, Kosciuszko, Mississippi, United States. Net worth, 300 crores USD, 2024, Forbes. Partner, Stedman Graham, 1986. Children, 1. Parents, Vernon Winfrey, Vernita Lee. Siblings, Patricia Lofton, Jeffrey Lee, Patricia Lee Lloyd. Oprah Winfrey net worth $3.5 billion. Early life. Orpah Gail Winfrey was born on January 29, 1954. Her first name was spelled Orpah on her birth certificate after the biblical figure in the Book of Ruth, but people mispronounced it regularly and Oprah stuck. She was born in Kosciuszko, Mississippi, to a teenaged mother, Vernita Lee, and father Vernon Winfrey. Winfrey's parents never married. Vernita Lee, 1935-2018, was a housemaid. Vernon Winfrey, 1933-2022, was a coal miner turned barber turned city councilman who was in the armed forces when she was born. A genetic test in 2006 determined that her matrilineal line originated among the Capella ethnic group, in the area that today is Liberia. Her genetic makeup was determined to be 89% Sub-Saharan African, 8% Native American, and 3% East Asian. However, given the imprecision of genetic testing, the East Asian markers may actually be Native American. After Winfrey's birth, her mother traveled north, and Winfrey spent her first six years living in rural poverty with her maternal grandmother, Hattie Mae, Presley, Lee, April 15, 1900 to February 27, 1963. Her grandmother was so poor that Winfrey often wore dresses made of potato sacks, for which other children made fun of her. Her grandmother taught her to read before the age of three and took her to the local church, where she was nicknamed the preacher for her ability to recite Bible verses. When Winfrey was a child, her grandmother was reportedly abusive. At age six, Winfrey moved to an inner-city neighborhood in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, with her mother, who was less supportive and encouraging than her grandmother had been, largely as a result of the long hours she worked as a maid. Around this time, Lee had given birth to another daughter, Winfrey's younger half-sister, Patricia, who died of causes related to cocaine addiction in February 2003 at age 43. By 1962, Lee was having difficulty raising both daughters, so Winfrey was temporarily sent to live with Vernon in Nashville, Tennessee. While Winfrey was in Nashville, Lee gave birth to a third daughter, who was put up for adoption in the hopes of easing the financial straits that had led to Lee's being on welfare, and was later also named Patricia. Winfrey did not know that she had a second half-sister until 2010. By the time Winfrey moved back with her mother, Lee had also given birth to Winfrey's half-brother Jeffrey, who died of AIDS-related causes in 1989. At the age of eight, she was baptized in a Baptist church. Winfrey has stated she was molested by her cousin, uncle, and a family friend, starting when she was nine years old, something she first announced on a 1986 episode of her TV show regarding sexual abuse. A biographer alleged that when Winfrey discussed the alleged abuse with family members at age 24, they reportedly refused to believe her account. Winfrey once commented that she had chosen not to be a mother because she had not been mothered well. At 13, after suffering what she described as years of abuse, Winfrey ran away from home. When she was 14, she became pregnant, but her son was born prematurely and died shortly after birth. Winfrey later stated she felt betrayed by the family member who had sold the story of her son to the National Enquirer in 1990. Winfrey attended Lincoln Middle and High School in Milwaukee, but after early success in the Upward Bound program, was transferred to the affluent suburban Nicolay High School. 
Upon transferring, she said she was continually reminded of her poverty as she rode the bus to school with fellow African Americans, some of whom were servants of her classmates' families. She began to rebel and steal money from her mother in an effort to keep up with her free spending peers. As a result, her mother once again sent her to live with Vernon in Nashville, although this time she did not take her back. Vernon was strict, but encouraging, and made her education a priority. Winfrey became an honors student, was voted most popular girl, and joined her high school speech team at East Nashville High School, placing second in the nation in dramatic interpretation. In 1986, Winfrey said, When my father took me, it changed the course of my life. He saved me. He simply knew what he wanted and expected. He would take nothing less. Personal life. Homes. Oprah's extensive and continuously evolving real estate portfolio has garnered heightened attention throughout her life and career, with many prominent industry outlets branding her a tycoon regarding her investments which as of 2022, are estimated to total approximately $127 million. As her talk show was beginning, Oprah first purchased a condominium in Chicago's Water Tower Place in 1985, before purchasing the condos adjoining and directly below it in 1992, 1993, and 1994, respectively. In 1988, she purchased an 164-acre property including Maine and guest residences, orchard, and stables in Rolling Prairie, Indiana, as her weekend refuge. In 1992, she purchased an 80-acre compound in Telluride, Colorado, which she would go on to sell in approximately late 2000. In 1994, she also purchased an apartment at the Four Seasons Hotel Chicago. Between 1996 and 2000 she purchased a total of five condos in different development areas of Fisher Island, Florida. In 2000, through her Chicago-based LLC Overground Railroad, Oprah purchased her friend Gail King an estate in Greenwich, Connecticut. In 2001, Oprah sold all five of her Fisher Island condos and purchased what would become her main home base she is also called the Promised Land, where she currently lives as of 2022, a, then, 42-acre, 17 hectares, estate with ocean and mountain views in Montecito, California. Additionally that year, she also purchased homes in both Elmwood Park, Illinois and Merrillville, Indiana for other family members and friends. Similarly, in 2002, she purchased her father's home in Franklin, Tennessee and a lakefront condo in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. In 2003, she listed her compound in Rolling Prairie, Indiana, and sold it in 2004. From 2003 to 2005, Oprah acquired several properties totaling 163 acres in Kula and Hannah, Hawaii, as well as a penthouse apartment in Atlanta, Georgia. In 2005, she purchased a home in Douglasville, Georgia, which was gifted in 2011 to a family member. In 2006, Oprah purchased a co-op apartment along Lake Shore Drive in downtown Chicago, reportedly with plans to permanently move there from her prior adjoined condo unit in Water Tower Place for the duration of her show but for reasons unknown, the property sat entirely unused until she sold it in 2012. In 2008, she sold her penthouse apartment in Atlanta. That year, she also listed Gail King's estate and purchased her, through her second LLC Sophie's Penthouse, a penthouse apartment in Midtown Manhattan, New York City which would later be sold in 2012. In early 2014, she listed her combined unit Chicago duplex on the market. Later that year, Oprah came back to Telluride, Colorado, to purchase a 60-acre lot, with plans to build on the property. A lawsuit filed against her that year by a retired nuclear physicist living in the area regarding trail access rights was dismissed later that year, with the judge citing little case law to support his case, among other issues. The extent of the agreement between all the parties and jurisdictions regarding her subsequent development on the property remains undisclosed. In 2015, Oprah purchased another property in Telluride, and later that year, expanded her Montecito compound with another 23-acre estate and yet another 44-acre dedicated crop and equestrian preserve. That year she also sold both of her downtown Chicago homes.